Hi, and welcome to Dave Barra Guitar. <laughs> Today, I thought I'd uh, talk about this guitar. Um, unfortunately, <coughs> well, <laughs> what happened? Well, basically, anybody who's seen a previous video to this, so I bought a vintage guitar, uh, a vintage SG guitar, uh, the Make Vintage, uh, in order to do it up, uh, like, you know, put my own pickups on, change frets, all that kind of stuff. and. Um, so yeah, so uh, well anyway, I got that and I kind of put it to one side and thought right I better crack on with that so I ordered all the parts that I needed to, in order to do all my upgrades that I wanted to do. Well that's my heater kicking in, don't worry about that, hang on. It's um, it's what, it's, it's nearly June and I'm freezing my arse off still so I don't know what's happened to the summer. There you go. Anyway, so we've got the SG, the, the SG uh, vintage guitar, and I put it to one side and I bought all the parts, all the bits to it, and I was looking at it and I looked at it and picked it up and played it and looked at it. And um, something just wasn't spurring me on to do the upgrades to it. I don't know what it is. But anyway, so um, I just happened to be on eBay and a Westfield SG came up. Now I like the Westfields. Right, I just like them. So, um, there's one behind me here. Look. I just really like them. I just like the feel of them. I like the weight of them. I just like them. And anyway, so anyway, a black one come up, which you can see here. This black one here came up, which is what I was looking for. I was looking for a black one with, you know, a nice kind of medium kind of thickness neck, not too thick, not too thin, uh, which was this was. Um, I don't know what happened, but somebody decided to put a Gibson logo on it, which I kind of will remove. Um, it's kind of half fallen off, part of it's half fallen off already. But there's a the Gibson logo. Yes, I'm going to remove that because it's not a Gibson. Plus, I always like to finish the headstocks off in a matte black. Uh, but, you know, it's a little bit further up the line. But anyway, so what I promised I would do is like film the whole, the whole process and... Um, and uh, 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 and show you what I was what I was doing, but unfortunately, um, uh, I lost the footage. Something happened to the footage. It was corrupt or whatever it was. So um, that didn't happen. So what to do? So uh, so here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to review it. That's the only way, only thing I can think of doing is to tell you what I actually did, and then you can see you can see the guitar here. Also, um, yes, a lot of people uh, will ask and and do ask, say, well, um, I want to hear what it sounds like. Well, I've made seven recordings, including an EP, with these guitars on, so you can hear what they sound like. Um, yeah, I don't get that. But anyway, so I'll come back to that. Anyway, so um, so yeah, so uh, here's the guitar. Now, I'm I'm starting a theme up. If you've seen my EVH, you may or you may not have seen it. I've started this theme. All will become apparent in the next guitar I'm going to show you. So basically, what I did. This is a Westfield guitar, which basically when they come. Well, a Westfield guitar, I kind of like, that's a Westfield guitar too. It's a Westfield SG. Um, I love them, I think they're great. Uh, it, you know, you can buy three and one's not so great. But I pick them up for about between this one, uh, no, the one behind me, I bought for £30. £30, 30 quid, 30, I don't know, dollars? I don't know, whatever you are, 30 euros, whatever it is, but three euros, so much I paid for it, right? This one I paid a little bit more, I paid 90 for this one on eBay, and I paid 90 for this one on eBay. 
However, what I do is I change the tuners because I noticed on the Westfield the tuners are always really bad. Uh, I change the tuners to these, which um, I get from, I'll put links where I get them from, but you can get these on eBay, these tuners. They're just clues and copies and they're great. Uh, they're probably made by Vance or someone like that. Um, the nut I made myself from 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 a bone nut, um, but you can just get any nut to put it on there. The frets, I replaced the frets uh, with my usual, my latest lovely frets that I use, which are these ones, which are, if you watch any of my videos, I've always used the same frets, and these are symptoms. I'll put a link in the bottom so you can see where I get them from in the UK, but you can get these in the US and Europe, and you can get these everywhere. Uh, what they are is they are 40% nickel, which makes them really hard. Not as hard as stainless steel, but not far off. Uh, but they're just a little bit easier to work with. So I put, sorry, I refret this guitar. I put a new nut on this guitar. Uh, I put, uh, come back to the pickups in a minute. Uh, I put the FRX trim on this guitar, um, which is, you know, it's, just, it's an aftermarket. So the, the trim costs more than anything else. <laughs> The switch, I bought a black switch with the cream and a cream surreal and a cream knob. That's a completely black switch. The input is completely black, and there's a cutout switch there in place of the in place of the volume uh, or in place of the tone control for the for the for the neck. That's basically that. So okay, now the pickups. The pickups in this particular guitar are hot slags. So let me just kind of just tell you something, right? You can't buy hot slags in this colour scheme. You cannot buy them. So don't even try to buy them. Don't phone up at, uh, um, Iron Gear. Don't send them an email. Don't do any of that because they won't make you them. They made them for me special, right? But you can buy pickups which are similar, with which look like that in loads of places, right? There's loads of places you can get great pickups. You don't have to buy these ones and hassle iron gear for these ones. These are built specifically for me um, at my request uh, because I just have that agreement, right? So anyway, so um, that's what I did. And, it, and, it, and if and if you email Iron Gear, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. So I shouldn't even be telling you this. But anyway, there you go. So I've done that. So the cream, the cream, the cream pickups are going to be a thing. The whole colour scheme is a thing for me. And I'm going to all my guitars. I'm going to you know like if like lots of guitarists have like their own kind of thing going on, right? Like Zach Wild has his own thing going on with his guitars. He's got like you know the roundy things going on and then you got other guitarists who always have the same color or the same kind of look um guitars right i'm going the same way with mine so the here so this one uh and my evh which i haven't got here right now which you'll see in another video has also got cream pickups in like this and the color scheme is exactly the same anyway so um so yeah um, now, sound bites, right? Well, sound bites I'm going to put at the end of this video. And the sound bites are a complete recording of a song. So, not only do you get to listen to the guitar, the, the, there's two different guitars are being used. This one's being used with these pickups with a twist. And another guitar is being used, which I can't really tell you too much about it yet because that's another video. The pickups are in another video, but but I'll explain it in the sound bites. It's not a sound bite; it's a whole song at the end of this video, right? So don't cry and say, "Oh, all you do is talk, Dave." There is uh, there is there's music with guitar in it at the end of this at the end of this track. It's an entire song, right? So you can listen to all the guitar parts and what I'm doing. So there you go. So moving on with this video, I have a second hand guitar sitting right here. Now most people would probably do a another video which is an unboxing video. So but I'm gonna unbox this right now because I haven't unboxed it yet because I've got this great idea, right? Uh, my my great idea is to have three of my favourite types of guitars, and just three of them, and I've already got two, 
but three of my favourite types of guitars in my colour in the colour scheme that I like. You know, using you know the colour scheme like this guitar, like this SG. <laughs> So, and this one is number three, which is the final, I would say is the final one in this kind of colour scheme of things, right? And um, yeah, I've, I've had a few people um, bring guitars in, like Westfields and, uh, and Epiphones and stuff like that, and say, right Dave, can you kind of do the whole thing, can you do the whole custom job to my guitars? And, um, and I'm kind of like accepting that now, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that now. So um, anyway... Prom my promise here is that I'm going to take this guitar from start to finish and I'm going to show you exactly what I do in order to make it into like a, a rock a rocking machine like this right rocking machine which sounds great looks great feels great plays great from a guitar which is basically um, from a Westfield guitar and I'm picking on Westfield because Westfield I mean I will happily play that guitar and, and I have a play guitar at gigs not no I'll gig it no problem no problem at all right now this is a Westfield guitar as well a slightly different one to this and although they I think when they came out they were like cheap kind of beginner guitars they're not, man. They're great guitars. They are well-built guitars. Well, most of them are anyway. Every now and then you'll get a bum one, but um, but basically they're great guitars. But you have to change. You know, you have to be willing to, you know, do some work on them. If you ever wanted like a build a guitar from scratch, but you didn't want to do all like the neck and the body thing, you can just buy a neck and the body like an Epiphone or a Westfield or something like that, and you can just you know do your own frets and put your own pickups in and do your own thing. I forgot to tell you, right? I forgot to. This is really important. The 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 scratch plate on this if you can see the scratch plate on this this is um this is like a matte scratch plate which i love black matte scratch plate that 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 was that was made to, that was bespoke made because the original scratch plate i broke it and it wouldn't look right anyway but this is a one ply matte black scratch plate uh, and i'd like to say that my son who is only 14 made it for me and um i gave him the spec and he made it for me out of this black plastic um Pit guard stuff. So yeah, really cool. Um, I think he's going to make me another one shortly. Anyway, so back to this guitar. So um, let's get it opened. So uh, if you want to watch uh, me open a guitar, I never understood that why people want to watch me open stuff, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway, right in front of your eyes. I don't. I mean, I know what I'm getting because I've seen it, but um, um, hopefully it's um, it's going to be. Uh, in reasonable condition, like you know, with all any broken parts. So we shall see. Right. Well packed. Ooh, right. Looking good so far. help myself but do this. Can you tell what it is yet? Oh, I couldn't help that. Good old Rolf Harris. But you have to get put away for his sins unfortunately. Right. So it's like new second hand guitar day. Um, a lot of people like you know, get excited you know, when they get it through the post and you know it is exciting but it's much more exciting when you spend time on it and do it up yourself and uh, you know make something from pretty much nothing. Westfield Les Paul style guitar and it's in black no scratch plate we don't need a scratch plate we don't need a scratch plate it's got a few dings and stuff like that but we ain't, I don't care about dings I'm not worried about dings 
it's got like a, a kind of nice sort of 50s neck on it that's actually all right actually feels chunky but not too chunky that's all right it's got it's got the original fret looks like it's had a fret job on it it's original frets but they'll be way too low for me maple neck they've taken the paint off some people do that so you know they can wank off faster <laughs> So, uh, yeah, okay, so there you go. So what we're going to do with this guitar is we're going to slightly relic it, I think. Not that I know how to relic things, so that could be interesting. We're going to slightly relic it, but we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take these tuners off, because I know for a fact these tuners aren't that great. We're going to take the tuners off, we're going to take the... Uh, the nut out, we're going to take the nut away, we're going to take the, the, the frets out, we're going to pull them frets out, then pick up surrounds are like, yuck, they'll make me feel sick just looking at them. We're going to get rid of those, probably put black ones in. We're going to put the, uh, um, ah, the hardware I usually keep on these, but because we're going for the black motif, I've already got some black hardware, I think, somewhere, what do they do with it? Oh, I put it anyway. I got some black hardware anyway that I bought off eBay cheap. It'll sound great. Uh, so we're going to do all that too. So this is going to be a rock and roll monster. Um, this stuff doesn't look too bad either. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to do we're going to do uh, we're going to do the whole thing with that, and we'll video it uh, so you can see the whole process. Um, I'm not going to fiddle with this too much just now. Yep, we're going to do that. There you go. I so not much playing in this video, and I'm awfully sorry about that. But <laughs> like I said, there's going to be you know a song for you to listen to at the end of this uh, at the end of this video where you can hear this guitar or the the SGs. Uh, well, I'm using two. I'm only using two different guitar. Well. I said a lot. I'm using three, but I'll explain as the song progresses. I'll explain what guitars, what guitar I'm using, uh, and what pickups it's got in it, and why you're hearing what you're hearing. So, uh, with that, uh, it's an action-packed uh, video. I would, I would say, and um, with that, I will leave you to it. Please give me a thumbs up because that helps a lot with the algorithms. And um, you know, feel free to give me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Enjoy the track that you're about to listen to. It took ages to record. Um, and I'm sure you're gonna like it and uh, you're gonna love the guitar sounds. And there is an interesting few twists in there with some of the guitars. Um, have a listen and see what you think. Catch you later. Ride the devil to your doorstep. You know there's gonna be hell to pay.
was gathered all around But their hearts all stopped when those dead eyes shut 